Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Babblers video, my name is Zeru, and this is Day of the Infected. Now I don't know if this thing is recording, I hope it is, because I'm using GeForce, and apparently GeForce will record in a much better light. It'll, it'll be brighter and more easy for everybody to see, hopefully, uh, assuming it is recording. Um, also, it said it was a desktop recorder, uh, or that way I was in desktop recording mode. Which makes me, you know, so I'm in full screen right now, so you shouldn't be able to see anything other than the game screen. However, you might be able to see this, um, this reticule, this, uh, the, the mouse cursor. And, um, whereas in other recordings you would never be able to see that because it would auto-hide it. So I don't know if it's recording this or not, but if it is a desktop recorder, it probably is recording anyway. Blah, blah, blah. So I also discovered that last time I played this, well, last time I actually recorded this, I should say, um... I was in the official like server, but I wasn't in the dev server, and uh, so I've since switched to the dev server, which I've heard is uh, they have more stuff that they have in testing in that mode. So um, things might look a little different. Also, I believe every time you you spawn in, uh, like if you quit the game, I don't think you just save where your guy was before. I think you just spawn again in a random location. So that building that we left off at in the last video on Doty is, um, well, not going to be there. Uh, I mean, I might be able to find it. I think that might be it there off, off in the corner over there. Uh, but anyway, so let's get down to this. <sighs> See if we can't make something out of something. Um, so as far as I know right now, yeah, preparing to die. As far as I know, oh boy. Um, Let's see if can I do I have any guns? I don't have guns. Oh, that's just wonderful. Yeah, as far as I know, the uh, there's not a whole lot to do as of right now. Oh, there we go. Other than just to run around and kill zombies. Um, but I'm gonna actually try to explore a little bit. Uh, and I don't think driving is an option yet. No, pretty sure it's not. Also, if you hear the click, clickety clickety clacking of my keys, it's because I still have a mechanical keyboard. After all this time, what is this? A combat pistol? Heck no. SMG. Eh, not bad. Okay, we'll go with the SMG. So anyway, um, we're just gonna kind of walk around and and uh, bash people's heads in and go ahead and I don't know if anybody's online right now, but more people come online on this dev server than anywhere else, and I don't know if there's even a way to tell. If there is, uh, I don't even know where the zombies are. And because there's no zombies, it's actually kind of impossible for me to tell whether or not I'm online. Um, just because my my uh, my internet likes to drop. And I don't know really why it does this, but it does. Okay, so I believe the big stones are what holds us into this, and they still have not fixed the jumping mechanic just yet, which is okay. Now, so one thing I will notice that is really weird right now is that I don't see, I don't see any zombies at all. I don't know if that's normal. It, is that just because I'm like completely disconnected or, wait, 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 wait. Oh my word. What happened to you, dude? Uh. That's not a good sign, peeps. Can I go up the ladder? Uh, okay, so this is... That's right, they told me about this. There's this new function they put in where you can easily, quickly select weapons. Uh, do you still have to click? Uh, I actually don't... Oh, okay, yeah, you do. Oh! Okay, gotcha. And I can go up the ladders. Uh, I don't know if there's actually a button that would allow me to go up the ladders specifically. Okay, see, we've been here before. Deja vu. Um, yeah, I need what? I need... Oh, I don't have ammo. Oh, crap. I better get some ammo. Is this ammo right here? Yeah, it is. Got some ammo. Okay, so I, I, I would I would say that right now, maybe a little bit of... I mean, there's a lot of work being put into this game, obviously, and uh, there's things that are changing 
all the time. What is that? Oh, more ammo. Um, so, you know, critiques should be taken with a grain of salt. But what I will say is the popping, like when you go into a, a building, I'm not exactly too keen on um, like the, the see that, how you kind of turn invisible and stuff. Like I get it that you're trying to allow you to see the foreground and everything. Um, but it's not exactly my favorite. I don't like that you kind of start turning invisible like kind of annoying. Can't go through the window. Okay. Well that's good to know because it means the zombies probably can't go through the window and eat my face off. Okay. Uh, now one thing that is of concerningness is that I don't see a single damn zombie. Now why is there no zombies in this test realm? Uh, wait, is that one? Oh, that might be one. Let's go see. Maybe somebody came through here already and has been killing the zombies. Wait. Nope, those are targets. That's a target too. Let me peek something real fast. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, apparently, I'm connected to the internet. Hang on. Steve's is coming. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try to find that big building and explore that building because, and I believe, yeah, shift allows me to run. Uh, so there's no, like, stamina bar at this point, I don't think, so I think I can just run indefinitely. Um, come on. Seriously, though, where are the zombies, guys? What is happening? What's happening? Developers, fix your game. Shit. Seriously, there's nothing to kill. Why? There must be a spawning issue going on right now. Um, that's okay, because we've already tested killing the zombies, and I know that you guys probably don't really want to watch a, a zombie survival game without the zombies, because pff, what the hell, right? Okay, I think this is the building right here. Yes, it is. Well, that's just what you're going to have to deal with for this episode, it looks like, because I don't see any kind of zombies here. Unless they're just trying to catch me unawares and jump scare me. Okay, so here we are in a building. Um, oh, toilet. Don't remind me. I do have to use the restroom. Or the loo or whatever you guys call it. Wherever you, whatever part of the good old world you're from. Um, also, I don't have the sound on. Uh, I actually do have the headphones somewhere. Um, I did find them, but I didn't put them on before I recorded. This is like, I think this is supposed to be just a house, but... Oh, what's that? What happened? What? What? What is sticking out of there? I don't even know what that is. Um, and I don't know where they're getting their, like, art pieces. I know they have an artist who is doing stuff, doing work. I don't know how professional he is, and I don't know how much of this is, like, uh, prefab assets or whatever. Um... But I like the look. Uh, one of one of you, uh, I think it was Artificial Cow, he, he mentioned that this looks a lot like uh, Unturned in terms of graphics. And I kind of agree with him. I, feel, I, I have played Unturned, though, and I feel like this game, the um, you're a little stronger. Uh, I feel a little more... My ability to survive is a little bit easier in this game. Everything's a little more fluid. Things seem kind of clunky and unturned, whereas this this game... Ah, yep. Uh, there we go. Out in the woods. Uh, this game's just a little bit more... Uh, I think part of it is the weaponry. And, I, and as the developers continue this game, I don't really know if they're going to try to tone it down and make like weapons and ammo much more scarce than they are now, and right now they just want you to test the waters and see how the... Oh, here we go. Yep, see. Um, test the waters and just see you know, how we kill zombies and stuff like that and how easy it is. But it's entirely possible that they'll make ammo and guns much more scarce so that surviving is a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, okay, so we're just going to keep wandering through the woods, the zombieless woods. Uh, this must be like the post-post-apocalyptic post, -post, -post -apocalyptic world because 
it's a world that was overrun by zombies, killed everyone. That's why we found that one dead person and then everything else is gone. Um, and then humans came in or something, maybe a virus came in and killed all the zombies. And now it's just a world that's empty and void, except for trees, because trees are important for oxygen and things. Um, oh, wait, wait, what's this? What is this? Oh, what is this? Is that a hanger? Hold on. Okay, I can just hop over the fence because, you know, that works like that. Physics. Um, I like all the floodlights. So the floodlights kind of kind of make a nice contrast with the background, with like the darker areas. I really do like that. It is a hanger-ish. A hanger without planes. Now, we've been having this conversation, okay, in the Discord about planes, okay, and plane models, and basically we've come to the conclusion, yeah, I can't ride things yet, I don't think, unless there's, no, nope. um, we've come to the conclusion that uh, a biplane is going to be the most epic, although there are some that debate that the blimp would be a more preferable aircraft. Uh, I don't think the blimp's very cool. It's big, easy target, easy to explode, especially in PvP. Um, yeah, look at this. So, I think, so right now what I'm literally doing to get up that ladder, uh, I don't know that there's a button that you can press to actually go up the ladder, um, but right now, if I jump, I can actually land on the ladder. But the problem is, the jump is so powerful that when I jump again, I actually go clean over the crate. And there we go. Okay, cool. Also, with no sit mechanic, it's kind of sad because I want to kind of sit in my chair, you know, like I'm looking over a safari and start popping zombies like they're western black rhinoceroses or something, you know. But uh, I guess that's not to be. I do like exploring this, but at some point I would kind of like some zombies to show up. I don't know what happened to them. I think the developers decided that they don't want... Oh, wow. Invisible barrier! Invisible barrier! What the heck? Developers, why would you... They did that on purpose. I'm telling you what, they intentionally made this invisible barrier with this fence so that we couldn't exploit the game. Well done, Holy Fire Games. Well done, Bobby and company. Way to make it so that I can't jump over the fence. I can jump over everything else, but not this little wooden dinky fence. What is going on? I just want to... Uh. Okay, well, I guess I can't... Oh, wait, is that a cave? Ooh, wait, guys. I think I discovered a cave. See, this is all I can do right now, is just discover things, which I don't have a problem with, but I kind of want some zombies to kill. Where'd all the zombies go? Wait, I should probably, like, tell everybody. Hey, guys, what did you do to the freaking zombies? Oh god, no. It's not a cave. I was lied to. It's just more invisible barriers. Can I go into the water? Uh, I can. And I can cross the water, too. Is that... No, there's supposed to be rocks. Can I drown? No. No drowning mechanic, guys. And no swimming mechanic, either. It actually doesn't make any any difference whether I'm out of the water or in the water. Wait, maybe I... Do I actually go slower when I'm in the water? Let me see. I think I might go a little bit slower. They might have gotten that mechanic in there. And again, I, I believe they only have one coder. So that's going to kind of limit the speed at which they can go about this. Although, uh, from the sound of... If you go in the Discord and you read some of their stuff, it really sounds like they're... Um, they're on a fast track to... Uh, getting stuff out very quickly yep um yeah okay let's go to this stonehenge looking thing way off in the distance because i, I want to know what that's all about it's probably just more barriers waiting to block me from having fun and stuff uh, uh i also like lights i go to light i'm like a moth and i and i and when i see light i like to go towards it because i'm curious about what it what its origin is Probably more floodlights. 
look, there's a bridge. How unnecessary. Especially considering you can just run through the water or hop over the rocks. Essentially, I have a bunch of bridges right here. Now, if this was like, if see, developers, take note, that bridge would be like a focal point. That, that bridge would be a point where everyone would fight for dominance if instead of a river, you had plastic, what, what do they call it? Pyroclastic lava flows. And all that, all that water was instead magma just flowing over. And if you touched it, you burned into a crisp. Oh, yeah. If that happened, then, man, that bridge would be something else. Let me tell you what. Uh, and it looks like it is more barriers. It looks like it's probably... Oh, oh. Okay. Now, I just have to say, I know that it's, it's the animation style here. But... In what world, besides Minecraft, do you find naturally square objects in nature? You don't. But look how square these things are. If I found something square like that, I would think that human activity was involved. Humans like square things, even though nature hates them. Don't really know why that is. Uh, why we like square things. Maybe just because it's more geometrically sound and easy to work with? Probably. Something like that. What is this? An ant hill? No, it's a tent. Looks like an ant hill at first. Okay, wait, wait. What was my crouch again? Uh, shoot. No, 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 no. What was my crouch? Ah, yeah. See, even crouching, I can't go into the tent. Do I have to hit. Oh, I have to hit C again to go out of crouch. Crouch, not crouch. Crouch, not crouch. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna keep going along here. I don't know how long I'm going to explore before I end this, but I'm pretty sure that there's no zombies on the map anymore. Yeah, see, I really don't like that, how I like kind of turn invisible. Look at that. I got turn invisible and I go under. I, I don't know what it is. Is it when I go like under things or... I'm not exactly sure, but I don't really care for it. Um, maybe the developers can fix that at some point, but I wouldn't put it on the top of your priority list, guys, honestly, because... Um, that's just like a personal preference. That would be like a fine-tuning tweak thing. Um, yeah. Okay, and we're back. Look, we're back to this again. Uh, what happens if I shoot him? Does he like spurt blood? No, not really. Nothing really happens when I shoot him. Um, all that's going to do is make the forensic investigator's job harder by pummeling him with, with stuff. Okay. Um, okay, well, there's nothing else really for me to do other than to continue to talk your ear off and, and explore this. I don't really know why there's no zombies at this particular point. Um, I know that's not supposed to be. So, uh, if you're watching this, trying to get a first look at this game, just remember that this isn't how it's supposed to be. And uh, it's probably a very simple explanation, and it's not really a sign of serious problems. It's just probably something something glitched out or whatever. Uh, anyway, but that's fine. Um, so as they add more things, we'll see if I can't uh, continue to explore this and show you guys more and more as this game comes along. You can always play this yourself too. Um, you know, if you want to wait till there's a few more features added, that's perfectly fine. You can just watch this from afar and and you'll know when new features are added when you see me playing the video and there's more features added. I can't wait for the aircraft to come because I especially want to go around and start bombing the shit out of the developers because that would be really, really fun. Um, I've always wanted to kill the developers. Like, in the most fun, loving, you know, video gamey way. Just because it's fun, you know? You're killing the developer. You're killing the guys that are making the game. It's like you're, you're slaying God, basically. And... Okay, this is just all coming out wrong, and I'm offending so many people on so many levels right now, and I'm really sorry. I, I was trying to make a funny joke, and uh, thank goodness that I'm not someone like, you know, Donald Trump or Nancy Pelosi, because, heck, if I was, I would be, you know, all over the news, and I would have to be issuing so many retraction statements, it's not even funny. Um, anyway, so, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. This is Dodie, Dave the Infected. My name is Zero, and this is The Babblers.